Good evening, everyone. It's um, absolutely fantastic to be making my comedy debut here at uh, the club Woodlands Bistro. I can't think of many venues better than... Well, I can, actually. I can think of a lot better venues to be, have than here. But, but White City, it's not quite the West End, is it? I mean, there's not those shops where we can spend all our hard, hard-earned money. That said, outside, if you look closely enough, there's a number of muggers who will relieve you of your, 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 your possessions and belongings if you're not too careful. When I first told my friends and families that I worked at the BBC, they were quite chuffed. And, you know, people still ask me now, are you, you know, do you meet many famous people? So I always make it up and say, yeah, I saw such and such in the tournaments with such and such. So I do a bit of this and that every now and again. Occasionally they'll ask me, you know, what do you do? What exactly do you do at the BBC? Which, which gets very embarrassing when it's my boss who's asking me that question. <laughs> and she asks me, you lazy bastard. Um, but being at the BBC, I'm quite pleased that they've, um, they've developed a recycling campaign because I'm trying to lead a much greener life and I'm looking around at different ways that I can find ways of recycling things. I've been looking at the internet as well recently. And um, if any of you out there have lost any gloves, I've got some great recycling tips for them. Um, if you've got a red glove, you can use it as a chicken impersonation, you can just put it on your head. Also, you could um, put a little clasp on top of it and use it as a purse. So, anybody needing recycling tips on gloves, I'm your man. But um, energy, that's the thing I'm really interested in at the moment, because you can't... There's energy's running out. North Sea gas is running, running low, British coal is on its knees. There's not really a lot of energy left, so what can we use? What can we do? And I think the answer is people dead people, specifically. I think we can use those as a great form of recycling. I mean, it's a growing business, people, the population's rising, day on day, immigration, thing of the past, we can get more and more people in, especially the old and infirm. We'd really welcome those people in. Um, and when you think about recycling, and recycling the dead, and burning the dead quite specifically, there's quite a few added benefits you can get. In olden days, they used to burn people at the state, which was a great thing to do, especially if there's nothing on telly, which is a lot happening these days, so something to do with the kids. Imagine bonfire night. My God, their faces would light up to see a real Guy Fawkes up there. So um, I really do think that that's something to look out for. Um, of course, cemeteries. We could free up some cemetery space and make some nice new homes and schools for everybody. And of course, if we did dig a few people up, we could have a second opportunity to go to some funerals. Um, the Queen Mum died recently, bless her. We could go to her funeral again. I'd quite like that. Um, and Elvis died, what, 30 years ago? I'd definitely be at the front seat there for, uh, to go to his funeral once again, to see him burnt up, and I'm sure we could think of some songs for that. Um, don't get me wrong. I might sound like a sicko. I might look a little bit like a I'm not. I'm not. I don't believe in burning people at a stake. I'm a vegetarian. I couldn't do that. It's just against my religion. I say I'm a vegetarian. I eat fish. The wife makes me. Thank you very much.